Hello friends, good morning, welcome to Leg Life and hello from beautiful Vancouver, Canada. Um, today is one of my favorite days ever because today is cruise day. Now it's about 6.30 in the morning and I, I'm like a kid on Christmas because I could not sleep last night. I woke up at about 5.30 just so excited for everything that today is going to bring because here in just a few hours, we are going to board the Royal Princess right here in Vancouver for our seven night Alaska cruise. But I had to get up early. I had to just like get dressed, get out of our Airbnb, go for a walk, get some fresh air, and just get excited for today's day. So I'm just kind of out walking around, enjoying the morning. Everybody else is back at the place, still sleeping. Um, so I think step one for me is definitely gonna be to find coffee. And since we're in Canada, not just any coffee, we're looking for a Tim Hortons. Perfect way to start a morning in Vancouver. All right, honestly, this is exactly the way I wanted to start the day with that red Tim Hortons cup. I like Tim Hortons coffee. It's not necessarily like the best coffee, but it is really delicious. Now let's head back and see if anybody is awake. We are starting to pack up everything. We're heading to the cruise ship in about 30 minutes. Good morning, Sherry Beth. Good morning. Are you excited? Yes, I am. Yeah, how'd you sleep? Pretty good. Yeah? yeah? Got up, had coffee, hung out, watched the latest Hour Zero video. I went and got Sherry's Starbucks coffee. Mm -hmm. She did not get the Tim Hortons that I had. Didn't. Sorry. We didn't really unpack, so this isn't going to take really. too this long. It's like toiletries and stuff that we had to unpack, so. We're just putting everything back in the suitcase. Well, kind of, because we're going to rearrange a little bit. And then. Because we don't have a weight limit now. We don't have a weight limit, so we can like cram all of the stuff into the bags. Yeah. <sighs> and get down to the ship. The moment has come. Bags are packed. We are, well, that didn't work. We, that's still not working. <laughs> okay. We, I'm sorry. We are leaving eventually. Goodness gracious, our Airbnb. That was a lot more struggle than I expected it to be. So we just got here to Canada Place and you can see the Royal Princess, the back end of the ship, just barely right over there. So here in the parking garage, they actually have a cruise ship drop off zone which is where they are directing us to now. So our Lyft driver just dropped us off here and you can see there's all these luggage cages right over here. Now with Princess, they actually email you your luggage tags and so then you print them off at home and then we are going to go over here by these luggage cages, use the stapler they have to staple our luggage tags on and then we're just, uh, we're just dropping off our luggage and then I think we're done with the bags. It'll be nice to get rid of these. Okay, look at that, luggage tags getting stapled on. And um, then the next time we will see these, we will be on board the Royal Princess. Luggage is dropped off. They did just come by and tell us that since masks are mandatory, we have to have the money now. So we are all masked up, ready to go. However, we were on the Disney Wonder last October in the middle of COVID, so cruising with masks, not something new to us. You guys, how exciting is this? Royal Princess check-in, Sherry. Oh my gosh, so excited. Okay, so we are walking in through the whole stanchion area. You can see here's like the line of people. There's not many. The Zachmans are back down there because they are taking them to get their COVID test. We have our medallion app out. So here we go. All right, so we just got all checked in. Um, it was a little bit confusing, but we are in a unique situation because we recently recovered from COVID and so we have like our doctor's letter, our safe to travel, all that kind of stuff. So we are not actually taking a COVID test today because we would still test positive. So the cruise line rules are that we need two things. We need our letter from our doctor, which we have, and then our positive COVID test, which we have. Um, so you can tell that our situation is one they don't actually get a lot. Right, because nobody really knew what to do with it. They were yeah. like, oh, uh, uh, But well. they did like get other people to find help to get answers. Yep. So I think we're good to go. And it was crazy because she actually said, if we want to go and get on the ship now, we can. We're going to wait for our friends. But huh. we're going to wait for our friends. <laughs> However, that's crazy because like we're used to with Disney, and I'm not going to do this all cruise, I promise. But we're used to like, you go and then you kind of wait and then they call your numbers and you get on. 
I'm not used to just checking in and then being like, all right, go ahead and get on the ship. Right. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna wait for Justin and Lacey. They're gonna get their tests. Negative tests. Negative tests. They'll be here. And then gosh darn it, we are all getting on the Royal Princess together. I'm so excited. We just got a Marco Polo video message from Justin, both he and Lacey, tested negative. They are on their way here. It's happening. Yep, that. Oh my gosh, they'll be here in just a minute and we can go get on the Royal Princess. You guys can see, walking through the stanchions right down there, there's the Zachmans with their negative COVID tests coming to get all checked in for the cruise ship. So excited. <laughs> we just walked outside and there's a Holland America ship here on this side of the port. We are going to loop around and head to the other side. So the next stop looks like security and customs. So after you go through customs, security, all that kind of stuff, they kind of put you in this waiting room here. You can see lots of people set up here and there's just a lot more chairs kind of set up all around. And they told us that the ship is not ready yet for boarding. So this is kind of the holding area. Um, I will say when you look at it, it may look like a lot of people, but you'll actually see there's a whole section of chairs that are empty. So there's really not a ton of people in here, especially considering the size of the ship. I like that while we wait, we all just like have our snacks. Apparently it's, <laughs> it's pre-cruise snack time. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, we just met a few of you, uh, Amanda and her family. They've actually, I think they said they cruised with Princess twice before to Alaska. They did like a land tour the first time. Um, and they brought many brands. They brought many brands. <laughs> so while we wait to board the ship, I am going to open this. All right, so it is just after noon. It is like 12.02 and the doors up front have opened. And you can see some of the people up there starting to make their way out onto the ship. It has filled up quite a bit in here, so it may be a while before it is our turn, but the process has started. All of the chairs ahead of us have now filed out. We are the next row to go. So we're about to scan our medallions. Thank you. The moment we have been waiting for, you guys, we are officially on the Royal Princess. Oh, thank you so much. Hello. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, you guys, this. What? Uh, Sherry, of course, has her camera already out taking photos. Um, this is absolutely stunning. Like, absolutely stunning. Live piano music greeting us as we come in. There's a bar right here already open. It looks like there's Alfredo's Pizza right over there. We've heard so much about Alfredo's. You can see they have like water feature down here. All right, stop number one for us. We are all so hungry and we're going to Alfredo's. It's one of the places that we've been told we have to check out several times. It is a pizza restaurant. It's included in the price, so let's check it out. They have lots of salads, they have soups, lots of pizzas. And they even, even have those like uh, eggplant rollatini. You can see lots of different pizzas and and even like calzones. And here's the thing, Alfredo's is included in the cost of the cruise. So obviously like if you wanted to get drinks, if you wanted to get wine, there's an extra cost to that. But this is really, really nice. Sherry, what do you think? I love it so far. First impressions of Royal Princess? It's so pretty. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. So we just finished lunch at Alfredo's Pizza. I'm sorry you guys, I didn't vlog any of it because it was so darn good. Uh, we are down here now just exploring the ship. We just met another one of you guys, which is so cool. You can see they have a band over here playing music. It is absolutely stunning. I cannot get over how beautiful this is. Okay, so one thing that is kind of amazing is Sherry, our room is ready. It is. So we were able to get right to our room. Yep. And these medallions 
or what let you in there, your room key as well. Yep, so let me actually take yours off for a minute. Okay. Oh, it's, it's already unlocked. Really? Like it unlocked, you can hear it click. So as so you get close, look, it says door unlocked. Okay, welcome, Adam. Yeah, go see you, hi there. <gasps> door unlocked, oh my gosh, that's me. And then you guys, here is our stateroom. Okay, we're gonna put our bags down, give you a stateroom tour. So we are in stateroom M102, yep. which is a deluxe forward-facing balcony room. Yes. We'll show you all that here in a second. Um, so when you first walk in, on the left-hand side, this is really interesting. They have like this really huge closet area. Like this is a big space. I also love that it's open. Um, there are two robes in here. We requested these to be in here. You can choose to have the robes in your room or not if you don't think you'll use them. I thought it might be kind of nice if we want them. So obviously lots of space for our bags. Um, also, we can request more hangers, which we may need. Let's take a look at the bathroom. There is that step up that a lot of cruise lines have. You can see really nice bathroom space. Uh, towels, they have a couple of glasses, face cloths. Do you have the toilet, extra toilet paper, nice big, 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 big mirror. And then back over here is just the stand up walk in shower has the um, conditioner and shampoo pumps on the wall. Now I want to look and see because I'm about six foot two and a lot of people have said um, that they have issues with height on the showers. You guys, I still have like a ways above my head. And here's what's cool is that this is on a track to raise and lower, but still I'm below it. So height wise, great. Um, actually, yeah, kind of a comfortable sized shower. Now heading out into the rest of the room, we have a bed right there. You can see a couple lights over there. There is uh, tables, table lamps on each side. Um, I don't know what the outlet situation is. I will try and look, see if there's built-in outlets there. There's not. So I'll try and look and see where outlets there's two over here by the desk. There's two by the desk. Okay, so I'll try and look and let you guys know where the outlets are. Um, but bed, sure you sat on it yet? Nope. We're not sure if it's terribly comfy. We do have giant TV, like yeah. big TV. Good size. It's really good size. Mounted on the wall, love that. Thermostat here, we can control that. And actually probably, let's just be honest, turn that down a little bit. Um, and then over here, we have a little sofa, a little love seat, mm -hmm. nice little table. We've got um, like a little desk, a little chair. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, there's. So this one is. You guys. McKinley Mac the Moose. You guys sent us gifts. Stanley the Stowaway Bear. A McKinley Mac the Moose. Oh, we got two of those. Stanley the Stowaway Bear. And a vegetable platter with. With what? Cheese Vegetable dip? platter with cheese dip. You guys. <laughs> thank you. That's so fun. I hadn't seen those till just now, so thank you so much. Back to the room tour. Little, oh, hair dryer. Down here we have a fridge. Sherry's already put her medication in there. You can see there's a couple of, um, so this is the letter about masks. You can see some health tips on here. The princess patter. This is basically the daily schedule. So this shows everything that is happening for the day right there. Oh, I love this. The app shows it as well, but honestly, I'd much rather have a paper version. So here's kind of a view of the whole stateroom like that, but now let's go outside. So this is a really unique stateroom because it faces forward. And because it faces forward, the balcony is absolutely gigantic it has a table two chairs and then right here is the view off the front of the ship this is going to be absolutely amazing as we are approaching glaciers as we are pulling into the ports as we are just experiencing Alaska. 
I'm so excited. And so that is M102. Now this is not the stateroom that we booked. We actually originally booked an inside stateroom and then probably a month or so after we booked, we got a notification from Princess that they had upgraded our room to this. Um, because of the bigger balcony, because of the love seat that's in there, this is one of their nicer staterooms. In fact, I think that it's like the stateroom that's right below their suites. So we feel super blessed, super honored to have this room. And this is home for the next week. Okay, so this is another thing they have in the room that I love. I was just looking through this um, and my guess is they might do this for every single port. This is a Vancouver port guide that has a little bit of an overview about Vancouver. As you open it up, it's got some like, did you know fun facts, some practical information. And then on the back, a map. This, one of the most helpful things I've ever seen for a port. I hope they do this with every single port that we visit. Also, you can see a little ferry. Looks like it's pulling in here to the port. All right, so here is how the muster drill and basically the safety uh, works here on Princess. Come into your room and on the TV, you have the Welcome to Princess Medallion Safety Essentials. We have to visit your muster station as soon as convenient, which is the Princess Theater. Watch your ship safety protocols on either the stateroom TV or on your mobile device on the app, and then listen to the announcements and then it's not that's not touch screen that was looks like it might be though. just so we're clear that's staying in the vlog like this is not getting edited out so we're gonna click like oh no it for it. sure looks like a touch screen look at this the safety video there's adam there's sherry that's us, yeah, that's us. adorable so you want to watch this uh, sure we're gonna watch it guest currently in cabin we hit start turn the volume up a little bit welcome aboard we can't wait to share the world <laughs> safely with you. This is so cool. Our highest responsibility and top priorities are All right, we're gonna go watch this. So it is several minutes long, but then when it finishes, you can see, watch the safety video is checked. The next thing we have to do is go to the muster station. Now, Justin and Lacey's room is literally like right across the hall from us, which is so cool. So we have the same muster station. So let's go get them and then let's go to the mustard drill. What are you doing? Fixing my hair. Fixing your hair? Yeah. You're so pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you think about our room? I like it. Yeah? Yep. It's not as small as I was expecting, actually. We had heard people tell us to not be impressed by the state rooms, but... Yeah, it's, it's a nice state room. It's a nice state room. Now, that is swayed because of how <laughs> absolutely unbelievable oh, sure. this balcony is. Really excited to read a book and drink some coffee out there. Oh, it's so great. So now we're going to the Princess Theater to check in for our mustard station. <laughs> One thing we were commenting is that the hallways are noticeably wider. Oh, I'm pretty excited about Which is nice. So we're just walking into the Princess Theater, which is our mustard drill. Uh holy cow. So this is the art gallery and we're going to explore more of this later because it's like it's stunning like it's really pretty really pretty and they're doing like a guess the price thing right down here um and if you guess the price you win one of the pieces like shipped to you right Primed and everything and the piece is the piece that we're guessing is valued between sixty-five thousand and one hundred and forty thousand. yeah crazy yeah and they gave us like a free like piece of art in there. There's like just a little print. It's kind of cool. Yeah. So this is our first journey outside deck 16, the Lido deck. You can see the giant screen up there. You can see we've got a little pool there. They have all sorts of areas over here for you to sit in. Uh, this actually at nighttime, I'll show you, it turns into a fountain. This is called like the fountain pool. There's Justin vlogging. Look at how nice, like the little seating areas. All of the pool chairs, all of the tables. Here's like the bigger of the pools. This is actually really nice. We just walked up one deck, so I think this would technically be deck 17 then. And I think this is really cool. They have different levels with the beach chairs. And then Sherry pointed out how perfect that would be for the movies under the stars. So here's a little better view of the pool deck again big pool uh there's a prego pizza right over there there's a bar right here 
right down below us is like hot dogs, hamburgers, that kind of stuff. They do have soft serve ice cream down there, so you know we're gonna be visiting that. But this is really nice. And one of the things that I really like is that they have like right in here, outside the pool area, just like a really, just a couple inch um, of water. Like if you just wanna get your feet wet, you can sit on like the wood all around there, have your feet in the water and enjoy this. I'm, I'm really impressed. Also, my friends just left me. Where in the world did they go? Are they up here? Oh, yep, they're up here. So this is the adult only area. I think this is called the retreat. You can see lots and lots of beach chairs. You actually can rent these cabanas. Um, this is awesome. Like, I love how there's just the flowers, like the plants, the grass. So this area is called the sanctuary and this is a adults only area, but it is actually a private area you have to rent in order to get into. And you can rent these cabanas with your own chairs. It has your own TV and couch in there. They also will come around and serve special food in here, special drinks in here. Oh my goodness. Now, he said that sometimes they do rent like, you can rent like a lounger for a half day for like $20 a person. Um, but he said that because of the weather, they're not doing that right now. So I may pay attention to that and see if they open that up because this feels like such a relaxing, oh, what is this space? Oh my gosh. I think the only word I could use to describe the sanctuary, and actually this is probably why they have this area, is just peaceful. Like it's so calm, so nice, so pretty. Here's a great view of the entire pool deck, that main pool, the two hot tubs, the fountain area up top we'll see later, another pool on the other side, the screens. You can see so much of Canada Place around us, the downtown Vancouver skyline. So awesome. All right, so we are doing the sea walk, which is like a glass walkway, like 15 or 14 floors up. I'm very proud of you though, Sherry. Not a fan. Not a fan. You're doing so good. Okay, so it's not banana, but they do have a soft serve ice cream bar with vanilla and chocolate, so. I'm very happy. Now we're up around deck 18, which is the sports deck. And this is kind of neat. You can see there's a track here. Inner lane for walkers, outer lane for joggers. Seven laps equals one mile up here on deck 18. We've reached kind of the main part of the sports deck. You can see got the basketball court, full size, which is kind of cool. I uh, got a soccer ball ping pong tables where I will destroy Justin Zachman. And I'm excited to see this area at night because you can see the bistro lights. I bet these lit up would be super cool. There's a bag of putters. There are some golf balls around here. You can just practice your putting up here on deck. I don't know, what is this, 19? Look at such a professional YouTuber. He's got his camera set up. Oh, that. I'll edit it to make sure it goes in. Yeah, it, it, fix it in post. Yeah, no problem. And then over here we have shuffleboard, and there's even the scoreboard right there. Man, they actually have a lot more than I expect them to. Oh, it went in hole in one. Hole in one. <laughs> so Justin and I are on the hunt to find the kids area because they're curious about stuff for like the boys for potential future cruises and we found the uh, fitness center. Look at this, it's really nice. The entire row of treadmills, got some free weights here. Obviously nobody in here, but it is really nice. And in here, this is cool. This looks like a kind of a classroom where they do like fitness seminars. So there's a complimentary seminar, how to increase your metabolism. Pretty cool. Here we go, Camp Discovery, the beach house. We've heard they're having an open house. So this is the tree house, ages three through seven. You can see they have like a little slide over here, an entire wall of books over there. We got like a nice TV playing some movie. 
Oh, we got laser hockey. We got like a little puppet show thing. Some computers. Lots of little tables over here. Probably arts and crafts station. We have a big map of the world. And then there is like a little play area here. You can see some things to crawl through. Looks like they have a whole bunch of play mats and stuff there. And then it's also cool because outside they have a big space. They have some games on the wall down there. They've got some games painted on the floor and then some outdoor play area. So actually kind of cool. Then the next area we have is the lodge, which is ages 8 to 12. Oh, check this out. You guys, they have ski ball. They have foosball. Wish I could play Justin in a game of foosball real quick. They have more air hockey. You can see they have like another big TV area. I like the surfboard tables. Those are kind of cool. Just like a couch table. Oh, this is fun. Look at this. Like, pick your music here. There's like a little DJ station. And over here, it looks like they have the makings of like friendship bracelets. Some of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Some tables to make crafts, play games. And then down here, they have all sorts of different games. Looks like different books, different movies, coloring sheets, activities, face painting. Man, this is actually really cool. So then right next door to that is the beach house for ages 13 through 17. This is welcome to your happy place. And this is connected to the other room we were just in by this little area. So it almost kind of looks like they're one big area. But this again for a little bit older, 13 to 17 year olds. And this is cool because there's all sorts of like, looks like little lockers to store stuff. Over here is the crowd DJ, pick your music. Again, more stuff there and just gosh lots of really cool like chairs seats you can see there's like a there's like a bigger tv over there over here we have foosball i love these window seats those are awesome and then we have full-size air hockey it even comes with a justin zachman you guys that's a big benefit uh out here is pretty cool because the high school area or the 13 17 year olds have their own area with like an enclosed shower um, and their own hot tub. And look at this, it's like, it's like a nice outdoor area that they have just for themselves with sun chairs. Again, big TV, lots and lots of computers down here. They have more ski ball right over here. This area is actually pretty awesome. You can see a ping pong table they can roll out as well, different like, art boards and stuff. And then right outside of Beach House, they actually have like their own, basically the acti their own activities for each day. It's pretty cool. Just go back to our stateroom. Sherry Beth, mm -hmm. are you having fun? I am. So we've just been sitting up on the pool deck with Justin and Lacey for like almost a couple hours. Yeah. And just laughing and talking and having fun. So much fun. We did a little bit of a ship tour, mm -hmm. got some drinks. Now we are back in our stateroom. I think Justin and Lacey are coming over here in just a minute. And we are going to watch the ship pull away here. Oh, look at that. There's a Holland America ship coming in. That's pretty cool. We fear that since we have a forward facing room, this would be a pretty awesome place to uh, watch us leave. Mm -hmm. I do want to point this out because this is one of the things that we're noticing. Um, there's a couple outlets right here. However, we have yet to find any outlets by anywhere. our beds, like anywhere else. So maybe we're just missing them. We are going to ask our stateroom host, um, but a little weird. No outlets. Hmm. All right, so we're all sitting out here waiting for the ship to pull away. Justin's got his coffee. Lacey's got her phone. Sherry's got her drink. <laughs> <laughs> got a GoPro set up. Justin's got his tripod. Now, all we, uh, all we need is to leave. Well, I can officially say our cruise has started. The ship is moving, we are underway, leaving the port of Vancouver, heading that way to something I'm really excited about. I don't know if you guys can see on the video, there's a bridge over there that we are going to go under. And the captain said that we are going to clear the bridge by about 17 feet from the tallest 
until it's part of the ship. That sounds terrifying, but I cannot wait to see it. Okay, so I just blew the ship's horn. And I don't think the camera picked it up, but you can still hear it because like the echo traveled all the way up the valley. Ahoy! That's really cool. That's really fun. Dang. So you can see Justin and Lacey no longer outside. Uh, they just went back to their stateroom after hanging out and chatting for like two hours. It was so much fun. Now, I think Sherry and I are going to uh, unpack. We're going to kind of settle in a little bit since this is home for the next week. Um, I, I have so many thoughts. I have so, so, so many thoughts, but let me just say this. So far, um, expectations are exceeded way more than I thought. And I can already tell that this week is going to be unbelievably relaxing. Some cruises you go on are just like packed and fun and great and go, 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 which if you guys know me, you know that's kind of how I <laughs> operate. But this is already feeling so relaxing and I'm really excited for a week of relaxation with friends. But now Sherry and I, we're gonna get settled. One of the things I was noticing is that there's not a lot of dresser space. There's a couple dressers down there, or drawers, a couple drawers down there, this is a fridge so then there's like this but i'm like gosh that is not a lot and then sherry her <laughs> she saved the day what the heck are you doing in there oh she saved the day because even in here not a lot of dressers but look what she found how cool is that Nice, <laughs> thank you, Sherry Beth. Okay. Nice little safe with, uh, I think, all the dresser space that we need. You guys, we are doing a little bit of a test. You'll notice it's very dark to try to see how much light is, these curtains keep out. And actually, they do a pretty good job. They do a pretty good job. I'm still probably gonna need my eye mask. It looks much lighter on the screen than it is in real life. Um, a couple things we've noticed, though. See the lights under the dressers? Those are motion sensored lights. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. That is interesting. So if you have to get up to pee in the middle of the night. Like that's, cause look, dark, I walk over and it turns on. That is super cool. Did not know that. And then I think this light right here is also motion. I hope because we can't figure out like how to turn it off. So fingers crossed motion light, but overall, Sherry, not bad. Not bad. First suitcase unpacked. Good job, Sherry Beth. And it does look like there is room under here for suitcases. So that'll be nice to store them down there. Just realized something I wish I would have brought. Yeah. With Disney, we always remember to bring our pop-up laundry hamper. We didn't bring it. You said you brought like a laundry bag? Mm -hmm. Okay, so for dirty clothes, we can use that. Yeah. We're unpacking the next suitcase. This one is mostly my stuff. So we are all settled in. A few things just to like put away a little bit. Like these are the books that are gonna go down to the library here in a little bit, so that'll be cleared off. Um, but let me show you over here. You can see all of our clothes hung up, Sherry's dresses, all of our shirts, uh, shoes down there. My shoes up top, cause well, I'm a little bit taller than Sherry. And then in here we have all of our stuff put away. So, I think we are ah, settled in for the next week for room M102 to be our home. All right, we are heading out. Sherry Beth changed her shirt. So do you. I did. Look, you're looking so pretty for dinner. Mm -hmm. We also have our books to go to the library. Yep. You want to take those? Yep. Okay. I'm going to take just the books. Oh, not the bag? Not the bag. Okie dokie. So we found what we were looking for, which is the library. And... Oh, look at this. They have a whole bunch of different, like, games to borrow. They have Clue, they have Checkers, Taboo, Pictionary, Battleship. They, they have even, sure, they have puzzles. They have an Alaska Railroad puzzle. Look at this, like, all this Scrabble stuff. You see, they actually have a bunch of Alaska books. Look at all of this. Lots of, like, Alaska travel books. This is cool. So Into the Wild is going 
down here with a lot of the other Alaska kind of books. And right outside the library is the Wheelhouse Bar and the Crown Grill. We're actually having dinner at the Crown Grill um, in a few nights, but what a nice space. So we just walked in this random lounge that Justin found and they have carved watermelon, like radishes, broccoli, that's so cool. So Sherry's running my guest services real quick, but I want to show you something that I thought was really interesting here near guest services in the lobby. You can see um, Royal Princess named Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cambridge, June 2013, Southampton. And then over here, look at how cool this is. These are photos and the dress that she wore at the naming of it. And then here is the top of the bottle of Moe. You can see the naming ceremony was on uh, June 2013. It says to the captain, ship's company, staff, and guests, it was a great honor for me to name Royal Princess in Southampton on June 13th, 2013. I cannot believe these year pass, a year has passed so quickly. It's so cool. And then here's the Duchess of Cambridge's signature. I had no clue this was here. So we are walking into dinner. We're actually having dinner tonight in the Concerto dining room. So here's the look in here. And here we are. All right, so I'm gonna walk you guys through the menu here. Um, you can see fresh baked bread already on the table. There are some featured wines. Uh, then down here we have the starters. The seared garlic prawns was the one he recommended. Then we have some salads and soups. The rum infused pina colada chilled soup, interesting. Over here we have a couple of pasta dishes and then the mains. Now what do you want to point out here? You'll notice that there's like these little, um, these little like location pin markers next to the pan fried Alaskan cod and the Bering seafood stew. One of the things the princess does that's really interesting on the Alaska cruises is they have a menu, it's called like local Alaska eats where they actually create a number of Alaska specific like menu items. I think that's pretty cool. So menu looks good now to decide what we want appetizers we got in here. I went with the shrimp cocktail. Looks very nice. Sherry, well, and everybody else went with the like, garlic, seared garlic prawns. Seared garlic prawns. They smell spectacular. All right, our soup course is here. Sherry went with the, what was it, Sherry? Like baked potato soup. Okay, and how is it? It is? I went French onion because I can never say no to a French onion soup and cheese, bread, nice deep broth, love it. All right, this really looks spectacular and I'm just diving right into seafood because I wanna be a critic. I love seafood, if it's bad, I wanna know night one, but it <laughs> looks really, really good. And Sherry went with the linguine and clams. Huh? Good choice. So we're sitting here in the dining room, look out the window and there's just a big barge going right by us. All right, I wanna show you like, Sherry and Lacey, like, <laughs> nice clean spots. <laughs> like, me, <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Gosh, I'm embarrassed for us. <laughs> now it is dessert time. Um, first of all, they have after dinner beverages, dessert wines, port sherries, cognacs, and then desserts, they have vanilla, mascarpone, oh my gosh, a sugar-free lemon cream pie, milky chocolate hazelnut souffle, the Love Boat Dream, Cheesecake, Creme Brulee, Bananas Foster, Sunday, Brie and Gouda Cheese. <laughs> Sherry, how are, how are we gonna decide? Be careful, it's hot, eh? Beautiful, yes. Don't tell me that I said late. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you so much. Enjoy. Yes, thanks. Perfect. And a straw. A, a straw? <laughs> it's dessert time. You guys saw I got the souffle. Sherry, yours is absolutely beautiful. What'd you get? It's a sugar free lemon cream pie. It's stunning. Lacey yeah. went with the creme brulee. That was actually yes. my second choice. Yeah. One of my favorites. Justin got the. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> is this what it's like? Is this what it's supposed to be like? I don't know. I mean, there's the complete. I mean, there's a banana. <laughs> so maybe. I don't know. Mine looks good. Yours looks really good. <laughs> we finished dinner and now it's photo time in this super fun wall. Sherry and I got photos together. 
Justin and Lacey's got photos. Look how cool it is here. All right, so we left dinner and uh, we're going to see a comedy show now. But you can see we got music, dancing here in the lobby. So here is the Princess Theater. This is the main theater on the ship, like where a lot of their biggest shows are. There's a comedy show tonight, and so we are just uh, gonna check it out for a little bit. Welcome on board if you have just joined us. My name is Natalie. It's my absolute pleasure to be your cruise director and get ready. Are you ready for a great cruise ahead? Excellent. This is one of my favorite places to sail. I've been just about around the world, but this is one of my favorite places. All right, so we just left the comedy show. Uh, we left early. Um, lots of different entertainment for lots of different people. That one just wasn't for us, so we left early. So Sherry saw the princess shop and wanted to come over and check it out. And they actually have a lot of different stuff in here. We'll give you a full gift shop tour in a future vlog. But just giving you a quick snapshot right now. What do you got here? To travel is to live. Okay, that's pretty cool. Back in our stateroom and, oh, the Sharps container that we um, had asked for, they brought. That was nice of them. Yeah. And our princess patter for tomorrow. Again, this is the, basically the itinerary with all of the things. Sorry. <laughs> <Went on. laughs> to do for tomorrow. So we're gonna look at that, but let's talk about day number one. And we figured that before we ended the vlog, we should bring you out here and give you one last view off the front of the Royal Princess. I have no idea what town we're passing. I have no idea where we are. Sherry Beth, what time is it though? Uh, about, uh, about 10 o'clock. You can see there's another, looks like maybe a cruise ship out there. Got the moon off the water and up there in the sky. That's super pretty. And what's crazy is that this is actually pretty darn dark for where we're going. So night's only gonna get lighter as we head home to the land of the midnight sun. Sherry Beth, mm -hmm. day number one on the Royal Princess. First ever non-Disney cruise, first ever princess cruise. Yeah. Um, what'd you think? Um, I really like it so far. It okay. is a completely different feel than Disney, just like the vibe yep. of the ship, which I was expecting. Yeah. Um, and obviously just having Justin and Lacey here is so much fun so much fun here's one of the reasons that this will be hard for us to like give a fair review mm -hmm. because the reality is, is that justin and Lacey are the kind of friends that we could go spend a week at a hampton inn in toledo with and just have a blast have a blast <laughs> like we just have fun with them right and so this is going to be a great week because we're with great people that we love correct right like that's yeah. gonna that's going to sway our decision yeah um I will say for me, the ship, very nice. Yes. Like it's a very, very nice ship. Yep. Um, there have been some highs, there have been some lows. Mm -hmm. I think you said it really well that it's a very, it's just a very different experience than what we know. Right. And I mean, the staff has all been like super helpful and- Service has been service spectacular. Service has been great. Um, yeah, I mean, we kind of have a list of like pros and cons going. Yep. Um, but so far I really like it and I'm really glad that we are doing this. Yeah, very, very much as well. Yeah. Um, so we're going to, we only gave you guys a little bit of a taste because here's the thing, we don't know what we're doing on board, right? Like we're learning as well. Right. And so a lot of today was like getting oriented and- Finding where things are. Completely. So- Realizing that some restaurants are closed today. Yep. Which they didn't know. Had, a, didn't know. had a heck of a time doing dinner <laughs> stuff. Um, but as it, as the cruise goes on, things will get better and we're gonna deep dive into more stuff. Yep. Um, so we'll give you a lot more in-depth kind of tours about um, what's going on around the ship, things that we're doing around the ship. But I can already tell this is going to be a very, very relaxing vacation. Yes. <sighs> I'm excited about that. Yeah. So friends, we love you guys so much. <laughs> Thanks for following along on Princess Cruise to Alaska day number one. Tomorrow mm -hmm. is an at sea day. Yep. And uh, we are going to, I think the plan is to sleep in rest a little bit mm -hmm. and then just kind of go out and do some stuff like do some maybe some trivia some of the activities around the ship get some reading done get some reading done cannot wait yeah. friends we love you guys so very much thanks for watching um click that subscribe button down below if you're not subscribed to our channel so you get notified of all of our future cruise videos both in this series and in future cruises we have two more cruises already booked yeah amazing you guys <laughs> we love you and we'll see you on the next lug life video